colors. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, there we go. I have to mute the Twitch so that way I don't echo. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Hey, Aiden. Hello, 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 good morning. Hey, Doodle, have you seen the new skin line for League of Legends? No. The cat versus dogs? The cat oh, versus no, dogs? Oh, no, I definitely don't know. I okay, definitely so... don't know that. <laughs> okay, so there was last... I... No, not last year, like some two years ago, I think? That they did the cats versus dogs, and I think they're bringing it back, but this time they're like, Hey, guys, let's combine it with space and groove. <laughs> mm. And guess who's the legendary skin? It's Blitzcrank. Oh, okay. And in and in this iteration, Blitzcrank but, uh, Blitzcrank is controlled by two cats. Blitz is one of the cat's names, and Crank is the other name for the cat. <laughs> That's cute. It's cute. Twitter, I saw a screenshot of a date and views on a video game. Am I right in presuming you're talking about the Q&A monster? Wow. I actually didn't know if anyone was gonna catch that. There was a reason I didn't put the fucking title on the screenshots. <laughs> you underestimate your fans sometimes. <laughs> I do. Because sometimes I forget that I even have fans and not just people who watch me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look. When the ma when when the majority of things that I hear about myself are negative. Sometimes coming from me, yes, I am I'm going to admit. But when the majority of shit that I hear is negative, it's like sometimes I forget. I actually do have fans. Well, it's good to have that reminder now and again. Time to check Twitter.com. Number one mistake. <laughs> Ah, yes, Starfire in my timeline. This is a blessed timeline. <laughs> Only reason why I caught it was the date, and when you pointed it out, it was two years ago. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it was two years before the. F it was two years between the first one and the second one. So. Hello, Big Mac. Good morning. Or good afternoon, whatever your time zone is. Outside of unhealthy obsession, why would people watch unless they're your fans? I mean, you kind of just, a a like, answered the question. Like, I was watching a video literally before I got started streaming. I'm only, like, 22 minutes into it. There was a video that was done on me, uh, recently. Actually, there's been, like, five videos done on me in, like, the past couple weeks. But, um, the particular video I'm watching is, uh, a video of someone basically, uh, telling me to leave the internet because I never learned from my mistakes because I still do YouTube. It's like... You know, as it be.
And before you ask, I am absolutely talking about just a Sylveon again. <laughs> yeah. That dude is a doozy. Also, I'm doing. I'm good not even gonna sugarcoat it. It's like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> that child needs to... Needs to kind of grow the fuck up. <laughs> I guess. Oh, absolutely. They literally... They they literally fucking plagiarized Kiwi Farms to say that I'm not trans. Ugh. <clears throat> <sighs> Where is it? Hold on. Situation better. While this isn't exactly chronological to the events that I've been talking about. If you're hmm? so insecure in your identity that you want to take estrogen slash testosterone and possibly mutilate your genitals just to regret it years or off your shelf later, maybe you shouldn't call yourself being a different gender. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I remember reading that on Kiwi Farms. <laughs> Like good, good job, <laughs> good job, kid. You did it. There was certainly an effort. <laughs> I don't even know if anyone heard that on on stream or what, but like, yeah. Hmm. It's like because I'm trans, I shouldn't call myself the other gender. What? <laughs> Excuse me, child. <laughs> Do we need to put you in time out? <laughs> oh, Master Shadow. You just showed up? Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about just a Sylveon. And how the kid has literally just gotten worse as 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 the videos on me come out. Excuse me. They're on I think video five on me. What the fuck did Sylveon say? Uh, basically... Basically they said, if I'm so insecure in my body that I have to take estrogen and want to... I think he, I think they had said mutilate my genitals that, uh, that I might regret later, um, then I shouldn't call myself the other gender. And I'm just like... Do you not know what trans is? That implies he does research. <laughs> it's like... Child! Where are your parents? I know I ask this a lot when it comes to children, but, like... <laughs> this is a legit question. Where are your parents? Do they know you are doing this? I'm pretty sure the... I'm pretty sure his father left for the milk. I'm pretty sure. And he hasn't come back ever since. Yeah, the, I think the worst part about it is, be, is I, again, I recall reading that on Kiwi Farm, on my Kiwi Farms page. God. I really don't want to imagine how they used to do their schoolwork, just copy-pasting all of the Wikipedia and just saying, here, I'm done. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Water is 
please help me. Also, of course, they're still using the Elizabeth sprites because heaven forbid, you know, they they attach their own name to the, to what they're saying. They have to attach oh, yeah. my name to it. Which is dumb. Yeah, there apparently were people who mistook that as like a, a, a sock account of mine. So I'm glad I I'm... called that shit out when I did. I imagine that just makes your eyes roll. Well, this is not the first time that I've had an imposter account that people thought were me. Uh, there was the Doodle Tones with a, with a Z uh, account on, um, on DeviantArt, and people thought that that was me. So I, uh, I had to call that shit out publicly on my DeviantArt. And even still, people think that that individual is me. So, it's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last. That's why I have the card, but I need to start using it. Like, uh... Yeah, I, I have a card, right? Like, this, this is it. And this has, like, all the social medias and stuff that I have. Not all of them are active, mind you. Mainly just these three up here are like the big active ones. And then maybe this one. But like... I do have a card, I just don't... I don't put it where I should. <laughs> I keep forgetting to, because I don't, I don't think about it until it's too late. <laughs> Speaking of DeviantArt, I'm currently checking it right now, looking for stuff. Hey, Jaceva. Hello, Jaceva. Good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time zone you're on. <clears throat> so who are you drawing today? Uh... Again, random characters that, uh, that are going to interact. At the moment, I'm currently sketching out Yule. Oh, okay. Because I got, again, two characters from the, the Doodle story. Instead of, like, oh, right. a character that I haven't drawn in a while. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, okay, so you're in Central Time, Jaceva. That's good to know. I just don't know what time zones everyone is in. It's hard to keep track. God damn it. Fucking water splashed on my face. <laughs> That's your problem. Because I was just drinking and then it just caught me by surprise. Yeah, I don't see a problem. Fair. <laughs> Still surprised me, though. <laughs> Hi, Umbris. Hey, Umbris. How you doing? And hello, Cable. <clears throat> I'm just reading the chat while I'm bobbing my head back and forward, because I don't know why. <laughs> unintentionally? How do you unintentionally do that? That's weird. Oof. I don't think I... Well, at least it went well. No, I could tell. I, I could probably guess how how you would do how you would do so. But uh, well, at least it went well. Well, yeah, that's fair. At least it went well, and nothing bad happened out of that. 
Yeah, that's always the thing I'm worried about with, when it comes to, like... That's, that's always the thing I'm worried about when I, whenever I hear, like, younger people coming out. It's like, I always worry that it just, it, it, if it doesn't go well, like... That's why for a while I was super, like, I guess aggressive with, uh, with people about it. God, I remember when I didn't technically come out to my mom as bisexual. She had to, like, dig through her fucking phone because I used her phone at the time to text my boyfriend. And then she's like, hey, can you give me your phone for a moment? And I'm like, okay, what do you need it for? Oh, I just need to check something. And I'm like, okay. I gave her my phone, trusting her. And then I, like, I think like an hour or so, she's like, what the fuck is this? And she saw me texting my boyfriend. Ah. I should have not given her the phone. Or I should have deleted the messages knowing that she would have been a nosy bitch. But whatever. I came out to my mom technically. And at first, she didn't like it. Because she was like, oh, you're not going to give me grandkids. And I'm like, the fuck? I don't... Like, I was just really dis I was like upset at her because she decided to be nosy but then she eventually accepted it at least she accepted it and my father couldn't do even that but whatever that's neither here or there what do you think about review bombing movies what's review bombing oh uh, where people like collectively get together to make bad reviews on movies, like negative reviews on movies, so it looks, it, it looks a lot worse than it is, or because oh. it's, it's so bad, um, that could also be, like, something that, that people do it for, um, and to, and for me, it, it really does depend on the why people are doing it. Yeah, it just depends on the context, really. Like, I would support review bombing, say, something like Cuties. Absolutely. Because, fuck, seriously, like, fuck that movie. Why the fuck did Netflix think that that was a good idea? Yeah, like, what the <laughs> fuck, Netflix? That was, like, a very bad move on their part, but, you know, that's not, that's not... That doesn't affect us. That affects their credit. That affects them mostly. So, mother and father and friend <sighs> are joking around, and my mother brings up to me, "Would you sleep with women or men?" And I said, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> it more so sounded like I came out as bi, but I said pansexual. I take it to be the same way. <laughs> that is I fucking mean... great, though. That is like the best thing that you could say in response to. <laughs> <laughs> fucking own that own that that is fucking funny as shit god <laughs> honestly I'm just glad that everything went well for you Ombrist oh absolutely that's as I said that's always the thing that I'm I'm worried about yeah Wait, Fagos, you never come out to any of your family members? To be fair, that's respectable. It's... just take your time. Oh my god, Dragon Knight! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oof! I mean, to be fair, my mom's not homophobic. It's just that, that I guess the shock came to her and she just spoke out of emotion and I understand that. Which is a fucking problem with her. She just speaks out of emotion and comes out as manipulative as fuck. But she's kind. I love her. There's a reason why I, l I lived with her for as many years as I did, other than my father. <laughs> yes, my parents are divorced. See, I think I, I sometimes feel like I, I disappointed my mom coming out as Ace. 
Cause like, she was asking me, like, oh, cause when I came out as, as, as trans, and she's like, oh, um, well, art, does that mean, like, does that make you, like, gay, or, or are you, you straight? And I'm just like, I don't think either of those options are correct. I don't think I'm either. I just, I don't, I don't, I'm not interested. And then, like, she seemed to not take that as as well as me coming out as trans. <sighs> Mainly because like no one in like neither my brothers or I have been in relationships. So mm. I guess she was just kinda expecting something different. Well, sometimes the parents can control what you like, and that's a, they've got to deal with that shit. Whether they like it or not. Father. Yeah, I'm not letting that go. Not anytime soon. Honestly. Oh my god, Umbris, you're so fucking lucky. Bless your mother. Bless your mother. Bless her soul. That is mother of the year right there. Your wicked to Hold on. Let's try to read something. My wicked to be a page says that I'm LGBT despite not even me knowing. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes my mom doesn't like the fact that I'm ace. And she hasn't said anything since then, I guess, but... God. Honestly, I know I'm a disappointment in my mother a lot, just in general. She kind of makes it a point to tell me that I'm a disappointment. Ugh. I'm sorry, Doodle. No, that's fine. <sighs> I mean, you say like, that, but... Look, I'm the only one of out of the three of my brother and I, or brothers and I who dropped out of high school. And I was doing yeah. homeschool. I barely, like, got... Nothing but like D's on my way to getting a GED. So my 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 grades even there getting a GED were fucking trash. Uh also thank you for the follow cake digger. Um, but like yeah. Uh I don't have a job. I haven't had any work experience. Well, I mean I have YouTube as a job, but sometimes I feel like my mom doesn't like me doing that either. Um I don't know, it's a weird relationship that I have with my family. But I mean it's it's fine all the same. <sighs> Look I've been I've been I've been put down like too much of my life for me to give really much of a fuck. <laughs> I can understand that but at the same time it's just that I don't know, it makes me a little sad. Hmm, no reason to be. I'm used to it. Oh, man, I would, if I were a streamer, oh boy, I would not let my mom know about that. Oh, boy. I would not let that happen. I would not let her watch my content. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> my only regret is letting my father know my YouTube. So, I am fucked. Mm, I mean... 
It's okay to hide from your parents sometimes, Umbras, especially if you don't think that you're ready to tell them. Just try not to hide it from them for too long. Eventually, it's going to come out whether you like it or not, sometimes unexpectedly even. So, it's better to do it sooner than later or never. Just letting you know. I don't know if I agree with that. I think children should uh, should have the right to at least a little bit of privacy from their family. That's understandable. Oh, thank God I'm not the only one who's worried about <laughs> their family looking at their content to see the... <laughs> like, good lord. I mean, if I want to let my, like, cousins know, fine, because, you know... They know how I am, they know how I behave, but my parents, my grandparents, my uncles, my aunt, no! Hell no! <laughs> oh my god, my <laughs> I think you told me this once. <laughs> that is... really... Solid. Yikes. Hindsight is twenty twenty, huh? I mean Yeah. See my my family knows like probably more than I want them to know about me to be honest. I'm not super close with any of them. I I don't it's like I wanna I wanna get this out of the way. Despite how much I I, I do wind up speaking negatively about my family. I don't hate my family. Like, I, I don't. Oh, that's fine. Feel it's like I don't feel like I can exactly hate my family. I guess I don't know. Like, they're not always unsupportive or abusive or shit like that. Um, my father probably, but. I mean, he wasn't around for most of my life, so what do I fucking care? Um... <laughs> but, like, uh... I don't know. My family's fine. Just... There's some things that I don't particularly like about them, and... As such, there's probably things that I... That they don't particularly like about me, either. Like, that's just, I think, a given for any family. Yeah, to be fair, I don't hate my family either. The only exception, well, as you may tell, my father and his wife, but they're another separate family in general. My mom, uh, my mom's family, I can have disagreements with mostly my mom and my grandmother, but other than that, I don't really hate them. Like, sure, we have our moments, but I think it's normal to have heated moments <laughs> and maybe uh, say a few regrettable things, but, you know, we're family. Of course. Also, Faye Ghost, um, when you say harm people, do you mean, like, a, a death battle situation, or... Are we talking about something else? Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, Aiden. I think all of us here can relate because we all hate ads, too. God. I just hate how common they're becoming on YouTube. It's like, you want to ban people for using ad block and then, like, fill their videos with, like, 30 times more ads than you played before. Like, fuck off, YouTube. Oh, you want the ads like, actually, gone? Then you gotta get the YouTube. fucking trial. Ugh. It's like, fuck off YouTube. Not everyone can afford fucking YouTube premium shit. Especially with the economy nowadays. Yeah, you're doing this just off the fucking coattails of COVID. Like, fuck <laughs> off. 
What if ads took you in? No, Big Mac. No, we we. Oh God, no. What are you talking oh, about? Dear. Those exist. <laughs> what are you talking about? Those exist. Have you seen the people with like the fucking Obey hats from 2010? <laughs> or the people who fucking wear Gucci and and fucking Gucci. flaunt about how how much they're wearing Gucci stuff? Oh, like. My God. What are you talking oh, about? We have gum. those. So rice gum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> rice gum. God, that's a name I have. We have seen. people like that. Jesus. We have walking billboards. They exist. <laughs> no silver clothes. Not G O C H I E Gucci. Gucci as in G U C C I Gucci. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that's a brand. Yeah, that's that's a brand. Yeah. Or the people who fucking wear Rolex watches and, and flaunt about how much they, they, they only wear Rolex. Yeah, no, we have we have those. Beats by Dre, those people. Like the people who fucking wear wear those. It's like, no. We have walking billboards. <laughs> those exist. <laughs> Oh man. So South Park was right about ads taking human form. South Park predicted that? Hmm. Interesting. No, South Park didn't pre South Park didn't pre predict anything. Those were all like they already existed by the time South Park started making jokes about them. Hmm. I haven't watched South Park. I only know about them because of the games and maybe some of the memes, but that's about it. Same, Gabe. Oh my god, really, Ombris? Damn. Canon? Q Anon? Q Anon. The, the fuck is that? I before. Q Anon. Q Anon, or simply Q, is a disproven and discredited American far right conspiracy theory alleging that a secret cabal of Satan worshipping cannibalistic pedophiles is running a global child sex trafficking ring and plotted against former US President Donald Trump while he was in office. Q Anon is commonly called a cult. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Wait, you can't get a haircut in Ireland because everyone will make fun of you? What? That makes absolutely no sense, but whatever. <laughs> They're the ones who did the Capitol riot? Ah. Uh, I see. Oh. I see. I was processing it a little bit, but then I just remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. God, yeah, I know. I've heard- it's like I've, I've heard the name QN on before, I wasn't sure. Like, what the fuck it even really was. <coughs> oh, I see, Deceiva. Honestly, I don't have siblings like that that would do that because, you know, my, and I mean siblings from my father's side because my father, um, you know, got married. Well, technically he didn't get married. It's complicated. The point is he had sex and voila, I had a little brother and a little sister. And my mother's side, um, I never had any siblings. But basically I never had siblings like that because my father was too restrictive on us when it came to television and what we watched. Plus, we didn't have enough money for cable for South Park, so... Pizzagate? What? Pizzagate, that's another thing that I've heard. Uh, 
the existed, fuck? but I don't exactly know what it is. Look, I haven't paid attention to politics in like the past four years. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't fucking blame you. I got tired of hearing about Trump, and then I just, I just didn't care. Again, I don't blame you. <clears throat> the orange man stopped running the country, so I stopped caring. Exactly, Umbris. <laughs> Thank you. That about <laughs> sums it up. God, why did I visually imagine just an orange man running on the country? <laughs> like a stick figure of an orange man just running, running over the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm so dumb. My parents were a little Oh. Oh, nice. Newgrounds is a really good site. Newgrounds is fun, especially with what they recently put out with uh Friday Night Funkin. Well, that's that's creators. That's not not them doing it themselves. Fair. <laughs> Trump the annoying orange. <laughs> oh no. Oh fuck. That was not supposed to be that funny for me. But here we are. <clears throat> God, I remember- I, Okay, the other reason why I know of South Park a little bit is because of that one time where they thought that Hillary Clinton would win, and they dedicated an episode where Hillary Clinton appeared, but then the votes came in, Trump won, and they had to fucking redo the episode because of that. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of the problem with South Park's, like, brand of humor and shit like that. It tr they try to get ahead of the they they try to get ahead of the curve, but like it doesn't always work in their favor. And that was just one of the instances that I know of. <laughs> it was funny as hell. Though it would have been pretty fucking cool if they predicted it, but it it didn't work. <laughs> I'm just tired of them trying to tackle fucking trans topics because they're not good at it. <laughs> they are zero for three on talking about trans related issues. <clears throat> Sorry. The creators hated that season? I'd imagine. Because literally the next season they were fucking toting around. Um, had, like, cancel South Park or some shit. I remember that. I don't. Because I don't watch that shit. <laughs> I do. But that's because I kind of enjoy South Park overall. Like, there's a lot of criticisms I have of South Park. A lot of criticisms <clears throat> I have about South Park. Especially nowadays. Um... But, like, I still enjoy it, like, as a show. I still think it's a fine show. It's kind of how I feel about, um, Modern Day Simpsons. There's a lot of criticisms oh, I, I can have. The Simpsons. There's a lot of criticisms I have of Modern Day Simpsons. But also, I think it's still fine. It's still a very good show, despite what people want to think. A lot of the people who say it's fucking Simpsons is a bad show hasn't watched The Simpsons, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, The Simpsons has gotten worse after season 8 of 29. They're 30-something now, actually. I'm a couple seasons behind. TBH, I just wanna watch the original seasons before the seasonal rot. Because I just prefer but the... there's... The problem is, right... Hmm. I don't believe the seasonal rot existed. Because I've... 
I have watched all of the episodes of The Simpsons up to a certain point. Uh, I think one of the newer seasons. I'm fi falling behind because I just don't have the time to watch TV as, as frequently uh, anymore. So I'm behind on like Rick and Morty, um, South Park, uh, Simpsons. Probably a season behind on Owl House too, I don't know. Um, behind on DuckTales and I was keeping up with that. So I'm behind on a lot of shows that I really like and that I, li uh, I try to keep up with. Um, but as someone who has watched every episode of The Simpsons and has really, like, had the time to just kind of soak it in and stuff like that, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. The Simpsons hasn't really changed. Modern Day Simpsons is not that much different than Old Simpsons. Um, there's still a, there's still a lot of jokes that are gonna age in, like, a couple of years. Um, there were still, like, there are jokes back then that did not age now. Um, there's always been celebrity cameos and things like that in the midst, uh, of what, like, people have problems with. There are always, there have always been things that have been retconned within The Simpsons. Um... You know, like, there is, it's a status is quo kind of show. Um, Al, has Owl House Season 2 came out? I actually don't know. That's why I was saying I'm probably a season behind on Owl House, if, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I might be behind. But, the, uh, like, the, the, the whole thing, right, is, like, the, the Simpsons hasn't changed, which is a criticism you can have of the show and be perfectly in your right to, to, to talk about because it hasn't changed. In, in all of the years that it has existed, it hasn't changed. But to sit there and go, oh, old Simpsons was better than new Simpsons, you, you don't watch The Simpsons. You don't watch The Simpsons if you think, if you genuinely think that New Simpsons is worse than Old Simpsons, because it's literally the same Simpsons. <sighs> yeah, that's That's fair. my hot take. Uh, that's fair. It's the same thing when people were angry at uh, Apu. It's like, everyone who got angry at Apu, you don't watch The Simpsons. And it shows. <laughs> Honestly, I, would, I wouldn't I would get... I was, like, mad at first, but then I'm like, why should I be mad? I don't even watch The Simpsons. Like, I know Apu has a character because of this one YouTuber, I believe. I forgot his name. I know that he Hot has Diggity a Demon. ghost character. Hot Diggity Demon, yeah. Yeah. I actually really like Hot Diggity Demon's video on the situation. Yes, I agree. Hot Diggity Demon is just fucking cool to watch, honestly. I actually watched the Problem with Apu documentary, by the way. That thing is commentary material. Ooh, <laughs> mm. I thought about it. I really heavily thought about just going in and, and commentating on the Problem with Apu. Because the entire time, right? This dude talks about how, like, oh... Uh, Apu is nothing but a stereotype. He doesn't have any other, like, characteristics of him, you know? He's only the, the stereotype that you, that you, that we, we think he is. And I'm just like... Bitch... Do you not... Know... Like... The entire thing with Apu is that he is an immigrant who moved here? Are you not familiar with the idea that, like... For, first and foremost... Apu has thought about, um, like, Apu, there was an, okay, I don't remember, I think it was the episode Much Apu About Nothing, I think, but it was an episode where Springfield was trying to crack down on immigration, 
right? They were trying to crack down on, on, on the people who immigrated there. And Apu, in an attempt to save his, his home, like, in order to, like, stay at home, he pretended to be ha or have always been American, right? And then he comes to the realization that it's like, this is not who I am. This is not, you know, th this is, this is, like, I, I am acting like someone who I am not. I am an immigrant and I should be proud of that. It is an entire episode, and the entire documentary just kind of ignore, conveniently ignores that for his point. He never once mentions that episode. Um, then it's like, oh, the, the, he, he works at the convenience store because that's, that's the Indian stereotype, or, sorry, well, yeah, no, it, that's the Indian stereotype, but I'm just like, um, no, he's also, he, he, he just likes working at the Quickie Mart. Like, he's tried to quit it before. There is an entire episode on that that you conveniently ignore, too. It's like, they've explored these ideas with Apu. Um, that, like, you know, he is, he's more than just the, the stereotype that people see him as. They've explored these, these concepts, these ideas in episodes that the entire fucking documentary just kind of conveniently ignores for their point. It's almost as if he was an actual flesh style character that they were trying to develop mm -hmm. honestly if you ask me Apu is easily one of the best written characters in the show even surpassing those of the Simpsons themselves <laughs> <laughs> by the way speaking of who's your favorite Simpsons character uh from the family I mean oh from the family yeah the family themselves not like the Simpsons show in general, but I mean the family specifically. Probably Bart. Yeah, Bart passes moments. Well, no, because the thing with Bart is that they 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 um they experiment a lot with him too. They they have him go through like growths and and uh and understandings and stuff like that. They have him go through these these stories where like his his childlike um shenanigans get him into situations and he, he learns how to grow from it um you know it's it's um i don't know like recently they they one of the most recent seasons the like the last one that i watched um they had bart like do the whole um i guess feminism thing I actually liked that episode. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think I was going to like it. I heard like, oh, you know, Bart gets involved with a, a with a, a, a radical feminist group, and I'm like, oh no. Like I, I I heard that premise, and I'm like, oh no, this is this is not gonna be good. And then I watched it. And I'm Your like, no, like, this is actually. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I hear that, and I'm like, oh no, this is this is gonna get so anti antithetical, like to to the point that they want to make. And then I watch it. I'm like. No, actually, this is cool. I, I like this because it's like, it, it was like, uh, oh yeah, they have they have Bart like, actually sit down and tackle like the the topic, of uh like the the the, the topic that they that they really wanted to do respectfully, and I'm like, that's cool. They also had an entire episode where Bart, was it Bart gets an F right? Um, like they have that episode where they where they used Bart to tackle the the com like the, the problem with the school system and how much we like put emphasis on 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 grading and stuff like that. <coughs> um, they've tackled a lot of interesting things with Bart. Like Bart is their character to tackle like the really really serious discussions that we don't really have very often. And I like that. I appreciate that with Bart. Um, I also really appreciate Lisa as a character, because Lisa is always, like, the, the contrarian, the devil's advocacy of whatever is being talked about in the episode. And I think that is, that's, that's really cool. Like, the children of The Simpsons are used better than, I think, a lot of people want to give them credit for. 
Like Bart and Lisa are like two of the best characters from uh, from the Simpsons family themselves. Because they, they use them to, to tackle these like complex and sensitive and weird issues. And I think that's cool. I, I don't like nobody gives that, them like nearly enough credit. God, <laughs> I actually really like The Simpsons, if you can't tell. <laughs> I think The Simpsons is a really, really good show. And uh, I'm tired of pretending that it's not. <laughs> I'm just checking Twitter. <laughs> oh, I see a baby! Oh, baby! I'm gonna show this in the shill chat because it's so fucking cute. <laughs> For those who don't know, I just found a cute picture of a seal. Or, yeah, no, that is that a seal? Yeah, that's a seal. It's so fucking cute. And then, and then the artist redrew it, and I'm just like, mm, baby, a baby. <laughs> God, one day I want to go to I to Ireland just to see how the people are. Honestly, I just want to go to Europe. Period. <laughs> period. Uh, period. <laughs> Europe is just a fun place, at least from what I've seen. <clears throat> Ow. <clears throat> Fuck. Why would I beat the shit out of you? If anything, I just want to come there and hug you. <laughs> Besides, you're a minor. Me beating you down is like a parent beating on their fucking baby child. Mm. Yeah, I know all too well, too well about that. Oh my god. Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to have a wholesome moment Yes. <laughs> yes, what would you like? What would you like to say? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, Doodle. <laughs> Silver Clone, if I... Uh, yes, you can, Silver Clone. <laughs> I, I can hug anybody and everybody as long as you're not a murderer. <laughs> It's like, hi, yes, I'm Doodle Tones. Have we met? My humor is very dark. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's just that the timing was so well done. I'll give you that. The timing was just so well done. Oh my god. <sighs> I have a morbid sense of humor, yes. <laughs> God, I can't do dark humor in my family. That'll be... They, they won't like that, basically. People in my family just get a little bit too offended. Look, all I'm gonna say is my father was not in my life. Why do I give a shit what he thinks? 
He's the one that disappeared from my life until I was 18 and then tried getting back into my life because he didn't want to fucking raise a child. Why do I give a shit what he thinks? He didn't care me care about my like my feelings when I was a child. Do you want to see Baby Doodle? Do you want to see a little <laughs> baby? Oh. Uh, uh, I sent it to the are... chat. I was about to say, odds are Comet Coon has probably sent it to me in, in Twitter DMs. <laughs> he sent it to you? I said oh, odds yeah. are he's probably done so. <laughs> the baby. Yes, Umbris, it's a baby. Oh, it's a baby seal. I'm gonna send it to you in DMs, it's... Umbris. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna send it to her in DMs. Okay, there she is. All right, Umbris, I sent it to you on on the Discord DM, so you can see what I'm talking about. The baby, look at look at the baby. <laughs> I love the baby. <laughs> God, I just want to have a baby seal. I know it was, it's impossible to have, though. How can I use light mode? What's my secret? Have very bad eyesight. <laughs> God. Yeah, no. Dark mode just hurts my eyes. Like, I don't... I don't know how anyone else can use that, like, as, as frequently as they can. Because it doesn't hurt my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I say I don't understand rhetorically. Like, <laughs> obviously I do understand. Like, everyone's eyes are different, and that's the whole, like, reason light and dark mode exist. Um. Excuse me. That, that's, honestly, I'm just tired of the people who fucking rail on others who use light mode. Yeah, that shit's not right. People have the right to use whatever mode they want. Especially if it affects their eyesight, so fuck off. Yeah, no, I'm just genuinely fucking tired of that. Like, the negative stigma that light mode users, like, actually do have. I know there are people who do it as a joke. But, like, I've seen people genuinely get mad at me for using light mode. Like... Dumb. Genuinely fucking get angry at me. Dumb. That's just dumb. You're getting dumb. You're getting mad for something so fucking petty. And it, I'm not the only one who. I'm not the only one who gets people angry at them for using light mode. That's just a very common thing that I see. And I'm like, why? We don't. We don't get angry at you for using dark mode. Not legitimately. Because we understand that that's, like, a default for people. That's, like, the thing, you know, that people... That, that's, that's, like, the, the, the thing that people like. People like the aesthetic, and also it, it help it, like, it, you know, helps their eyesight. Because a lot of people stay up late. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably part of it. <laughs> um, you know, light sensitivity and shit like that. It's like, I don't genuinely get mad at people for using dark mode. If that's their- if that's what they want to do, fucking go for it. I get mad at people who use dark mode who think they're superior to people who use light mode. And genuinely think this. Yeah, that's kind of pathetic, really. I fucking hate that. That, like, it- it's- it actually pisses me off how many people get angry at others for using something that just shows that they're not that sensitive to light, or maybe they're too sensitive to light? I don't actually know, like, the... I don't know which one's which one is, is built for which, but one of them is built for those who are very sensitive to light, and the other one is, is built for those who are not. Um, and for me, whenever I look at dark mode, if I, if I stare at dark mode for too long, I see, like, little tiny white lights 
pierce into my eyes and I can wind up with words getting burned into my retinas. Um, it's not, it's not fun, it's not pleasant, it's, but that's me. I understand other people see light mode as just a wall of light coming at them, and I, I get that. So I'm not, I'm not here to, to argue one way or another with people. I just, I get so tired of people fucking making it a, a, a us a versus problem. them kind of thing. Yeah. Because there are people who legitimately are fucking dark mode supremacists. And that um, is, Ash. that is a, that is a fucking sentence I can say. <sighs> Humans are weird. That's all I'm gonna say. Humans are weird. Hopefully my friend that I commissioned uh, a few days ago is going to stream art that I commissioned for them. Well, from them. Yes, from them. I'm just waiting for them. Yeah. I randomized, uh... I, I, as I said, I'm still going off the randomization. And I just... I randomized a character with a neck toque. And you'd never guess the character that I fucking randomized with a neck toque. Uh, give me a hint. So, <laughs> it is a character from the Doodleverse. Or not the Doodleverse, like the the Doodle story. The Doodle story. Yeah. That doesn't narrow it down much, but it does help. <laughs> Actually, it narrows it down by quite a bit. You'd be surprised. Because if I just said, oh, it's just one of my characters, you know, that's 200, you know, no big deal. <laughs> Fair. Mm. Uh, is it one of the ones, is it one of the characters that are off the ship or on the ship? On the ship. On the ship. Okay, so little is off. And the other characters that are off the ship are also off. Uh, God, I just don't know who would fit with that. Because <laughs> I, I think of them and I'm like, no, that wouldn't fit them, would it? Or would it not? <laughs> I'm just well, like... Well, the thing is, is it doesn't matter if it fits. I randomized. <laughs> Ivy? Someone just Someone guessed Ivy? <laughs> no. Uh, this should give you. Of its gender. This should give you. A... This should give it away. Oh, it's in the drawing. Yeah, I just I just gave it away. Deceiva said Z. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. That was the last one I was expecting. <laughs> I kind of like Z's design, really. It's really cute. Look at that little guy just munching. Munch. Munch. <laughs> yeah. Nectugs are little character or like little creatures I made for the doodle verse. Like the like the doodle story. Like the actual story of my little like uh Hello? half circle characters. Who joins? Hello. Oh, oh hi, Stag. Stag. Uh, what do we do? Hey, 
doing today? Drawing. We are currently drawing and ranting. Stream. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I've I've gone I've got on many different rants this stream. Yes. One of those streams. It's it's a chill stream where I rant and rave and get angry. <laughs> it's a circle of emotions. We love to see it. <laughs> Big Mac thought you were crimson. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't hear it. I don't. I don't hear that. As, as I joked about the last time, Big Mac brought it up. Is it because they're both black? <gasps> no. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Stag appreciated the joke. <laughs> I think that's the important part. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I have never logged on to Twitch on my computer. Oh man. God. Though, if I were to go to a place on Europe first, it would definitely be Italy. I would love to go to Italy. <sighs> There's a reason why I learned Italian first in college. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna order pizza. Fuck this shit. <laughs> God damn it. Pizza? <laughs> Yeah, pizza. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> I've we've we've mentioned in the past how Vega, anytime he's in a call with us, he'll order pizza. He does this like every other day, if not every day. Um, and I was controlling the urge today, but then I'm like, you know what? No, fuck it, screw this. I'm not controlling it. I'm just going to give in. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. I don't care anymore. Fuck this shit. <laughs> gonna fucking order right now. <sighs> God damn it. Whatever. Let's see. You're weak wilt! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not my fault that pizza's so fucking good, Doodle oh, Tom. I forgot that I hadn't been sharing my screen. That's why you guys have been going on the Twitch. Okay. Oh no, I I've, I've only been seeing it on, on Twitch. That's why I have to like get the volume down. All right, let me watch. Yeah. I'll watch this too. I also just came to touch for the chat. Yeah, I understood. Well, that's good that I make you hungry when I say that I want pizza because that's the point of pizza. You're supposed to get hungry for it. <laughs> <laughs> pizza top, ew, no. He's the top of sand. Gross! What the fuck? <laughs> That's certainly interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing, period. I would hope it's not an actual thing. I think no one would, but I but I'm pretty sure that it's either a joke or I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. <laughs> we are talking about pizza, people. People will eat with anything at this point. I mean, if pineapple pizza was a thing, I'm pretty sure anything could be. Hey, pineapple pizza. pizza's good though. <laughs> <laughs> pineapple pizza's good though. We know. We're just we're just picking the shit out of you. <laughs> Cause it's funny to tip to pick on that kind of thing. <laughs> I won't. Yeah. I won't lie. It's kind of fun. Ah. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> oh, I gotta log in first. God damn it. Oh, Fine. this is a very interesting group of characters. Thank you for the bits, Aiden. Whoop, Vega. What would be the interaction with these two characters? They're totally unrelated and I can't... can't even come up with like a concept for that. We're gonna try though.
I don't know why it took me a good second to realize that I can't see anything because fucking Switch is on light mode. Someone dipped their pizza in milk? Excuse me? Why? Well, I, I have... I have... I have an image of that. No, no, of course you do! No, no, doodle, no. Of it's, course it's, you do. It's also, it's also captioned with pizzas cancelled because y'all don't know how to, re how to act. Good. <laughs> pizza <laughs> should be cancelled. Doodle, listen to me right the fuck now. You better not send me that image, I swear to God. I will fucking... You're both... You're just posted in the general. No worries. I'm not going to look in general. I'm not going to look in general. I'm not going to look in general. <laughs> God, you know the term curiosity killed the cat? Well, in this case, curiosity killed the furry, and that's gonna be me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm just so curious. It's it's my curse. I'm so morbidly curious, and it fucking kills me every time. <sighs> Anyways. Oh no! I see. I open Discord and I see that Doodle sent me a DM. Oh my and I'm just god! Like, <laughs> he put it on the stream. <laughs> I'm not going to look in general chat. I will not look in general chat. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I don't see. I, uh, mm, 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 no, no, no. I, I'm just focusing on ordering something. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, indeed. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you don't get milk with that pizza. <laughs> Stag, I'm going to fucking murder you. <laughs> I hope you sleep with one eye open, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. Happy place. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Thank <laughs> <laughs> hey, you for the bits, Fagos. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's he what it's just... like to eat beef. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, I want to fucking order something, bitch. There we go. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm not even playing okay. Happy Feet right now. Oh my god, Happy Feet. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I speedrun- I, I speedrun the Happy Feet game every now and then. Whenever I feel like memeing. Oh. I- I don't know why that's so surprising to me that Happy Feet got a game. Yeah, Happy Feet 2 has a game too, but I haven't played that one. I haven't watched the movie either. Uh. I see that one, the, that one message from Doodle, <laughs> and I'm. So... I don't Vega. want to open it. No! Vega. I don't want to... No! Thank you, Vega. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Doodle Tones? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh no. I want to save my fucking virgin eyes. I don't want to see this. <laughs> Why did. <laughs> God. What did Umbra. Oh no. Umbra sent me something. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared that everybody's sending me pizza with milk. I don't want to check the ass right now. <laughs> <I'm> the... <laughs> God. Oh God, Umbris. God, Umbris. I trust you, Umbris. Okay, it's just a joke that she wants to tell me. I have a joke. What do you call a Spanish man who lost their car? What do you call that? 
Umbris, what do you call that? <laughs> Tell me. I'm going to fucking murder somebody. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a Spanish man who lost their car? Carlos. I fu Oh my god. <laughs> do you see why I want to commit murder? Right? <laughs> Funny enough, that's one of my name of my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. I hate this. Ah, oh, whatever. Umbris, I love you, but come on. <laughs> Sodas. Yes, I want a soda. Give me a soda. Give me a fat fucking soda, please. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Siva? Oh, no, I'm not going to forget this. Oh, I'm not going to forget this. Yeah, Jaceeva, I'm not going to forget about this. There's no way. Th though I will I will admit, I might be like, you know what? Maybe it's not that bad. And then look at it. But right now, mm -mm, no. I don't want... Oh, God. Th <laughs> Thank God for sending me the arms. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Open it, Vega. <laughs> I am fucking scared at Fago's DMs and Susie's DMs. I don't <laughs> want to look. <laughs> he sent me three. Go Fagos. Fagos, I see the DMs. I don't. <gasps> oh God, Big Mac! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No, Silver Cloud, I'm not going to give you shit of my fucking DMs. I'm not going to give you shit. <laughs> it's you bad said... enough that I have people fucking sending me you... DMs right now about this shit. You're so paranoid. Like, I'm the only one that has the image, as far as you know. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <I> for... <laughs> okay, let me... I'm not ready for Fagost. Uh... Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> I don't even know what he sent you. <laughs> exactly what you think he did. Beef Wellington? Exactly what you think he did. <laughs> Fucking mil pizza on milk. <laughs> no, I think that's chocolate milk. Gross! Oh, <laughs> that's that's worse than what oh I would have sent you. God. That's worse than what I sent you. I think that's chocolate milk. I don't even fucking know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, he. Oh yeah, it is chocolate milk. He just proved it. Oh. <laughs> See, I. Oh my god. I just sent you normal milk. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. I I've seen it. So give me that. Yep. There it is. There there it is. Just yeah. Let let me just look at that. Let my destroyed vision see that image. Doodle of the tones. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> doodle of the tone. Yeah. Doodle of the tones. <laughs> God, I my eyes have been destroyed. I have seen everything. I. Yeah, I think I need pizza right now to cleanse myself. <laughs> I think I deserve this pizza. Uh, should I get Pepsi? You know what? Fuck it, Mountain Dew. Whatever. Fuck it. I want Mountain Dew right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Give me that pizza, please. Uh, check out. Yes. Give me the pizza. Also, I don't, I don't know what Fago sent you, but at least mine also has the funny caption of pizzas canceled for the year because y'all don't know how to act. <laughs> no, he sent me fucking. Okay, the first image, hit like him grabbing a pizza with like whatever the fuck those things are called. Then he like dips it in chocolate. He's like, he says, I'm gonna try it. Dips it in chocolate milk, and then he says, yum. With the pizza eaten on top of the chocolate milk. Oh my god. He he fucking did it. He actually <laughs> fucking did it, and I do I hmm I 
I'm destroyed. I'm emotionally, spiritually, mentally destroyed. <laughs> I do not know how to respond. I don't know how to react except stutter my fucking words. <laughs> Congratulations, Fagos. You destroyed a man, woman, whatever the fuck I am. I don't even know at this point. Egg. <laughs> no. Do it up! Yeah. Egg. <laughs> oh, yes, Big Mac. Yes, I I'll check your DMs, Big Mac. I, I trust. Oh, my God. I see Emmanuel. I... Mm. Okay, first image, cursed, Emmanuel. Second image, are those mushrooms on top of chocolate <laughs> on a pizza? Please tell me that's not mushrooms on top of chocolate. Please. A mushroom chocolate pizza. No deal. Emmanuel, please tell me that's not what I think it is. And I will not lose it. Because I will fucking lose it if that is what I think it is. <sighs> okay. I'll, all I see in the chat is XD and I'm fucking... Yep, it is. It is. It. 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 it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. It, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. You, you know what? I'm gonna destroy those this world right now. <laughs> 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 Fucking mushroom on top of chocolate pizza. What the fuck are human beings? What is a human being? What What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> but enough <laughs> talk. Come at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm gonna make the joke for Vega. This is why Vega became a furry. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Vega became a furry because fucking. Fuck he, saw, like... <laughs> he saw cursed pizza images and he's like, fuck it, I'm becoming a furry. <laughs> <laughs> Vega has uh. left the human community. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm putting this on Twitter. <laughs> I'm, putting, I'm putting this on Twitter. This is I'm gonna post on Twitter right now. You know, I'm, I'm gonna save these images, and I'm gonna show proof on why I left the human community. <laughs> <laughs> I am showing the evidence on why I left the human community. <laughs> Good fucking lord. Y'all be wildin'. Y'all be fucking wildin' in this bitch. <laughs> Just Eva, fuck right. everything, become robot. <laughs> Hell yeah. Become robot? <laughs> become robot. <laughs> Become robot. I'm just gonna I'm just um, gonna become a plant. A plant? <laughs> God. I am I am Come a on. I am a I am a plant. Me plant. <laughs> I'm on right, the image of making feel pain, Tledoy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those. I'm on my fave. I'm on the fave of one I'm seeing so far. I'm gonna just post it in no mic. <laughs> it's been a while since I've drawn this this joke character, so I'm gonna gonna kind of take this time to redraw her in a different way. There we go. Hey it's, Nova, it's how's done. the stream going? The stream has been very chaotic. Yes, Nova, you, you are witnessing the broken yeah. furry right now. You, you are <laughs> witnessing a fucking furry just becoming a broken soul because of human beings. Eating chocolate milk on pizza, 
the fucking uh, mushroom on top of chocolate pizza. Thank I you I'm for just the here. Thank you for uh. the follow to Tina Puppy. Ombres, I swear <laughs> to fucking God, I am going to fucking block you on Twitter and Discord? No. I swear. <laughs> Ombres? Okay, Ombres, what you sent me is not cursed. TBH. That's not cursed. Also, hey, Avi. Man. Man, indeed. Man, indeed. We've been breaking a furry today. Yes. That's very good. <sighs> I love you and I hate you, Avi. <laughs> what not break? What not to break except the furry? They could break literally anything else. Wh why the furry? Because breaking furries is funny. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing one of my joke characters that I haven't drawn in forever. Basically a joke off of like stupid like anime character tropes. <laughs> so I'm drawing it in like the most crudest anime way I could. <laughs> Moving <laughs> villain starts playing. God. It's like I haven't drawn this character in a while because it requires like a different style than how I normally draw. <laughs> At least as far as head goes, because I don't draw head shapes like normal. <sighs> I am at peace now because I know that the pizza that I ordered is not cursed. I hope to God. <laughs> the furry's being bullied and I'm here. <gasps> <sighs> I love you, Fae Ghost. But I hope that if I do become a ghost eventually, I will be actually able to punch you. Because <laughs> I know that if I punch you physically how I am right now, it'll just go through. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Drunk on Cartoons. Hello, welcome to this fucking cursed shit. <laughs> welcome to this madness. Enjoy the wine. Also, thank you, oh Silver Oh my Cold. god, ow! <sighs> okay, that image definitely made me feel pain. <laughs> what what image? image? Is, is it colander to toilet paper? No. I saw that and I just thought that was kind of normal. Uh-oh. Since... Flutter links don't work... Actually, how the fuck am I going to do this one? Because this one's pretty gnarly. And I don't remember mobile Discord being able to spoil images. Let me try something really weird. Send it there, save the image on my computer, and then I can spoil it that way. Uh, uh, okay, go into, you can go into that photo. I don't want you in that photo, you can go in there. I'm gonna send it in no mic. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
That one was in fucking hoit. Maybe, maybe get rid of that one. <laughs> maybe delete that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. Oh, oh, oh my God! I just saw what what, I, what you posted in No Mike, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Maybe delete that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's why. Okay, okay. That's why I spoiled it. I need to <laughs> fucking get out of No Mike. Oh, oh God. Oh no! no it's, it's gone now. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Fuck! That was. Oh. Wait, what was that? I don't want to see it. Look at I'll DM like then. Yeah. I already deleted it. I'll DM it to you. Oh. Oh my God. Umbers, I hate the fact that you responded to my fucking twit my fucking tweet and you're like, ah yes, pizza is finally being made as originally intended. Fuck you! Oh yeah, I made that image. I made that image. No, you didn't. I'm did the not. person in the picture. No. Abby. <laughs> That's me. No. <laughs> That's a picture of me. Avi, you need hugs. That's what you need right now. <laughs> That's what you need right now. Hugs. Effective immediately. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, Nova, no, I'm not gonna commit a war crime. I'm just going, I just wanna talk to certain people. I just wanna talk. I just wanna talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will always love that Family Guy meme. Um, I just want to talk. Dad, I just want to talk. Dad, what are you- I just want to talk. Dad! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is certainly something. Man, I can't believe soon. Oh, yeah. Yes, both you ask. Soon indeed. Oof, that was power. Yeah, did you see the, the, the preview I gave you, by the way? Uh, of course Abby. I did. Of course I did. I don't understand how you keep saying you're not funny. I fucking, like, tripped and fell. <laughs> Vega Phantom. <laughs> I did spoil this image too, but for a different reason. I, I am the doge that you. is approaching. <sighs> oh, is it? Oh, I almost clicked on the wrong image. You yeah, think about how Kirby hasn't had a consistent enemy yet Sonic and Mario fight the same guy, and that's truly because Kirby has no has no fear of murder, of taking another life. <laughs> yep. I mean, he does fight a lot of the same people over and over again, but Well DD yeah. and Meta Knight are just really tough. However, No 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 no. Wispy. Oh, well, Wispy's a tree. He's different. <laughs> I'm just saying. You can't, you can't kill Wispy. He is a tree. Wispy. Kirby like, makes I'm just... him cry. Can you ever think about how Kirby technically bullies Wispy? He just beats him. To oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wispy did He's... nothing wrong except blow some wind on Kirby's face. What oh the my fuck? God. I love. I love. Um. What was it? Failboat. It was either Failboat or Slimesicle. One of them was like, God, make a Twitter account called Relatable Wispy. It's just the first tweet is just leave me alone. <laughs> Dude, fucking bless Failboat. I love Failboat. Dude, he is. Just make a. Just, yeah, just make so... Relatable Wispy. <laughs> Like, dude, Failboat is so fucking funny. I love him. And Failboat and Avi... Slimesicle are two funnies. 
Avi, sometimes you just exude failboat energy. Sometimes, though. Listen, here's the <laughs> here's the deal. <laughs> yeah. Susan and I were talking about this, and she and she's like, "All right, the two times when you said you watched something, and I was like, oh, I got it. Uh, I forgot what the first one was, but the second one was like, oh, I asked, do you watch Charlie Slime Sickle? And she's like, oh, huh." I have a question for you guys. Hmm. And we have an answer, possibly. I actually don't know if I have an answer, but if actually, I don't, I'll say pineapple. I'll try my best. If you were writing a book that mm -hmm. was in two different languages, mm -hmm. like one, one page was English, one page was another language, would you label each page as the same page? Or would one page be page one and the other page would be page two? Huh. I don't like this question actually. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Let me repeat that. <laughs> I like how okay. almost everyone is confused. <laughs> if you're writing a book okay. and the book is in two different languages, like like most likely a, a book of prayer of some sort. Um, if it's in two different languages, with one language on one side and one language on the other, would you label each page individually as its own page? Like, the left page would be page one, the right page would be page two, and then three, four, five, six, seven. Or would you make both pages page one? And then I you flip it, page two. If I'm not mistaken, don't they do the, uh, the former with, like, Shakespeare? Yes, but what would you do? Probably that. Okay. Because, like, Cause that's, that's what they, because that's, that's what they did with Shakespeare translations, was they, they, uh, they wound up doubling the page count because of it, but, like, it's it's to help people understand what the fuck is going on in Shakespeare's works. Yeah, I personally go for, um, uh, the second one as well, because, um, it gives children hope that the thing that they're being forced to do by their parents is almost over. Oh, man. Listen, one of these Just, days. So oh my god. Probably on Wednesday, either Wednesday or Tuesday, I'm going to be streaming the Infinite Hallway, and at, at, during the, the hallway, I'm going to be giving I'm I'm going to be giving a full college course on um on Passover. And it's going to be funny because it's going to transition from me being like. Yeah, factoids, factoids. Oh, look, blah, 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 blah. To me screaming, just viscerally yelling about the rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how this is bullshit. I just want to eat food. Don't talk to me about food. I'm literally hungry. That's why I ordered pizza just right. now. <laughs> Dude, if only I could eat pizza. If only I had that luxury. I mean, I could give you the money if you want. That's no, not the it's point. Not that That's not the point. <laughs> It's a Jewish to eat, thing. To eat pizza in such trying times. I can't even fucking like... To be fair, okay. I didn't even know that was a thing. No, listen. All risen bread is no. But also corn. Why corn? Because the Ashkenazic rabbis are made of parched asshole. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I feel... <sighs> I just want to have a soda that isn't Diet Coke. I want a soda oh. that isn't Diet Coke. Oof. You can only drink Diet Coke? Because it's the... Because Diet Coke is the only fucking soda that people make that's kosher for Passover. This, and the only thing that's keeping me tied to the house right now is that if I started driving and I came back, my parents would say, you don't live here anymore. <laughs> mm. 
my god. I remember when I was like subjected to drinking Wait. Diet Coke. That's pain. So what's the difference between Coke and Pepsi that makes Pepsi not kosher? Um, nothing. Nothing. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> first of all, nothing. Second of all, um, the it, it's just because they don't make a kosher for Passover variant of Pepsi. Like, mm. have you ever seen? Have you ever seen Coke with a yellow cap around this time? Oh yeah, is that what that means? That's what that is. That's what that means. Huh. Okay. Um. Yeah, if Pepsi made a kosher for Passover variant, if like Sprite made a kosher for Passover variant, that would be epic. Um. Also, it may be Monday for you, but it is Saturday for me. <laughs> it's been Saturday for three days. I'm just waiting for the doorbell to fucking ring. Please ring. <laughs> Dude. I... I'm just glad I'm not in Vancouver right now. Because if I was in Vancouver right now, all I, I would be allowed to eat are fruits, vegetables, and meats. And nobody wants that for eight days. Oh, Unless you're on a keto. Unless you're on a keto diet. In which case, I'm sorry. Can't enjoy things in this world like spaghetti. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure that is easy. Let me see what is going on on DeviantArt. Do why would you do that? Why would why would you do that? Do what? Uh, Go to DeviantArt. Do do yeah, do what? I'm just going on DeviantArt. Also, that's matzah. Everyone says it's bigger than they thought. <laughs> oh. Why did I laugh at that? <laughs> it's bigger than I than they thought, and I'm like. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny wieners. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Nova says all my homies hate Deviant Art, and I'm just sitting here like, I agree, but also, Deviant Art is probably like the best site for that as of right now. Tumblr is not bad, I guess. Tumblr is fine. I want an excuse to use Tumblr more often, to be honest. Um, but like, DeviantArt is like the best place to post art, unfortunately. Toy House is not public, still. Um, Pillow Fort is down, still. Uh... Mm. There is Pixiv, but Pixiv is not as public. On top of that, it's it's a lot harder to keep up with artists you like on Pixiv. I had a Pixiv account briefly, and I couldn't follow like any of the, ca the creators that I liked watching, and so I deleted my Pixiv account. I think actually, I might still have a Pixiv account. God, also. I don't know if I- I don't remember if I deleted it or not, actually. So... So, um, I was talking to Heaton yesterday, and she was, um... She was telling me about a D&D &D campaign that she's in that's Sonic-themed, and her character is a paladin, and when asked what god does he serve, she says, Oh, I'm glad you asked, he serves the god Sonic. Okay. She gave the lore dump, which I don't think I could give, but essentially <laughs> Sonic's friends are the Twelve Apostles. Okay. Like, of course, of course, Tails is St. Peter, he welcomes you into heaven to see the Lord our God, Sonic. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah! Um, hold on, I'm gonna look up the Twelve Apostles I'm, because I'm I don't totally know fine. Christian lore. Because I, I, don't, I don't know lore that's fake. Um. 
You know, sometimes you just forget to breathe. <laughs> How do you spell apostles? A P O S T L E. Thank you. I wasn't sure if it was an O or an A. Okay, I don't know who any of these people are, so I'm gonna wait for Heaton to come and give the <laughs> Sonic lore done. Oh, uh, is, is Heaton showing up? No. I mean, she's on, but I don't know if she's gonna, like, hop in. <laughs> um, if she can. <laughs> guys, give... guys in the chat, don't worry. I'm, I'm totally fine. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Are we just <laughs> Don't worry. I I'm so glad she's finally here. Now I can bother her even more. <laughs> <laughs> You this is the trade-off to her sending me TikToks all the time, was me being like, Hey, bitch, tell me about Sonic War. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all be wildin' in this bitch. <laughs> oh my God, wait, what is this? I just want to play Beyonce's one of Beyonce's songs that is like uh Put this out crazy in love, put it on it, put it out crazy in How's everything going so, for me? Um, I don't know. I exist. So, um, 
There's a what there's a, 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 a what's it called a website for writers called onebook.com that if you just put in the description of a word, it will tell you the word you're looking for. <laughs> What's I might need that because there's called? there's a lot of times where I need I that. I believe it's called onelook.com. If not, it's called um dickandballs.com. <laughs> what happens if you look up dickandballs.com? <laughs> well, now I need to know. <laughs> I'd probably end up with dickandballs. But you know, it is onelook.com. Okay. I found it. That sounds very useful. I like that. Huh. Well, I, um, was hit with a virus. God. Thank you, dickandballs.com. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I had no fucking right to be as funny as it was. What? Just the story out of context. Just of listening to you going to Dick and Balls. Thank you, Dick and Balls. <laughs> I had no right to be as funny as it was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. What the oh fuck? God. I hate this. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Lois shirt. Yeah, I just... <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Vegas. But yeah, um... As far as, like, how is everything going for me, I watched a video this morning, uh, didn't watch it all the way through, but I watched a video this morning of, uh, of fucking just a Sylveon doing another video on me, uh, doing the video that they kind of promised, low-key promised they would do on Confessions, Yay. and it is exactly what I thought it was gonna be like. Even more yay. And it's probably worse, because he takes from Kiwi Farms to say that I'm not trans. Oh. The fucking triple. Yeah, it's fucking great. Okay, so I already love one look. Because I just decided to put in the feeling of instant regret, and I got like sixty words out of it. Nice. And some of them are pretty funny. God, Starfire with big poofy hair is actually really good. Watched the video oh, this morning absolutely. too. It was a commentary on Dulu's video on Lupus and Jar, and it was one of the most infuriating videos you've seen in a while. I actually have, uh, that was actually sent in the Clubhouse chat, uh, this morning too. I haven't watched it yet, but. Yeah, Naval Vibe, it's like an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, no, sh that's not happening. Yeah, uh,. I haven't watched it, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too terribly interested. Because at the moment, uh... I don't exactly know how I feel about Dulu right now. Put it that way. From what I've been told, they are just not in a very good place right now. However, I'm not gonna say I'll believe it when I see it, but... I just hope them the best. And I just probably wouldn't watch it because I don't feel like getting involved in that entire thing involving Lupus.
Oh, so here's like, oh no, it's it's a hundred words. A lot of them are funny too, and a lot of them I don't understand. Oh my god, the feeling of instant regret predicted. That that's too real. Who is Lupus? Wasn't Lupus that one artist that was like, they got into some like huge situation because they wouldn't draw the trans flag? Uh, I... I believe that was, that's the same person. Maybe it was something that happened. I don't remember it was like what Lee months ago since I've seen a video later than that. Related to whoever Lupus was. I wish it was something like worse that they did. The transphobic furry artist who's on the news, yeah, that's what I thought. Who, wait, the, don't run for me, I'll chase you? Yeah, 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 that one. That's funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm very sleepy. Yeah, after Yum Tough tonight, um, Wombu and I are going to record something funny. Nice. Because we tried recording Killer7 footage, and then the, the um, what was it, the, the sound was not there. Despite us getting an insanely good clip. Run away from God, he will chase you. Yeah. I, I don't remember who made the edit, but yeah, there was an edit where they that made Lupus Zero. Vulpus. And it was, yeah. It's like Lupus mm -hmm. Vulpus was like, if you run from me, I'll chase you. It's so funny. It was really funny. You were right. It's not about changing the world. It's about Ocelot showering Big Boss with a bucket of water. Who are you drawing, Doodle? So, um, continuing with the thing that I was doing yesterday where I randomized a bunch of my characters to interact, and the two characters that I've, I've randomized here are Briley. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, Sorry about that. Welcome back. Uh, Briley is a character that I made to poke fun at how I drew in 2014, and uh, so 
she has like giant fucking hips. That is on purpose. And then the character in the bubble here is uh, Kinta. She is a character who is typically only seen in dreams. Um, she's supposed to be only seen in dreams, but I kind of fucked that one up when I was doing Doodle a day. But, point is, she is supposed to only be seen through dreams. And when she appears in your dreams, uh, those dreams will turn into nightmares. However, uh, that is also typically, it's, it's also typically a good omen if she appears in your dreams, because that means you are going to have a really, really good day the next morning. She comes into your dreams and kicks you in the shins repeatedly. She comes in and your dreams turn into nightmares, but you are, but it is said that, uh, when you wake up the next morning, you will have good luck throughout the rest of the day. So you'll have a really good day. That's, that's a really cool stand. <laughs> that actually isn't too far off from Death 13, which is a stand that can only manifest in people's dreams, and it creates um, a dream world where you can't use your stand, and any damage reflected in the dream world gets um, gets done in the uh, in the real world, and it's. Um, it's used by a baby. Yes. So Jotaro's mom did not have the willpower to handle a stand. However, but a baby a, does. A, a three-day-old infant is uh, pretty good. A baby who was probably born and then immediately fucking died so he could get a stand. Yes. Right. Also, listen. The thing about Death Thir- Actually, should I say about the de- the weakness of Death 13 or no? The weakness of Death 13 is that you can just fucking kill the baby. No, well, you could, but they don't- they don't want to do that. Yes. <laughs> they don't- they and don't want to fucking follows do Dio that. for some reason. The fucking yeah. baby shouldn't even know who Dio is. Yeah, it's- it's fucking weird, but- one of the baby's weaknesses is that you can bring physical things if you, like, hold on to them, I think? <laughs> to the dream world. Yeah, so Kakyoin brings in his stand. Yeah, that's the weakness. As long as you can bring out your, your, your stand with you, and you don't, like, summon it, try to summon it in the, in the dream realm, you're fine. Mm. I still love how every single JoJo fan I've ever gone to has been like, what the fuck? Who, who is this idiot who says you get jo- people into JoJo with the sun? What is he, stupid? Fucking idiot. Dumbass. And I'm like, oh, he's an it's idiot. Like who's... And they're like, whoa. Oh. It's like for someone who's not even in JoJo, I'll tell you that that's a fucking terrible idea. Because you've tried it, and it didn't work. Let's get Italian food work. Let's get Italian food was fucking amazing. It still I lives rent free it. in my head. <laughs> it's, it's very funny because like, um, the, the the biggest contradiction between that and the reason why he didn't dwell on let's get Italian food is because he literally said in his video, if you start with part four, that's stupid because it's on Crunchyroll. And everyone knows that Crunchyroll is evil. So don't start with part four. Alright. Like, Shuckmeister's video is him trying to out anime Pope the anime Pope, but he doesn't do it right. Instead, he should stay in his fucking lane and make a physics video about how quickly my foot is going to reach his asshole. <laughs> Alright, so let's... I've been going for two hours, so let's go find someone to raid. Brooke's streaming, and it's been a while since I've raided her. What's she doing right now? Yeah. Persona 5. She's- yeah, so she's playing, oil, I believe. Yeah, she's playing the forbidden game. 
Yeah, I don't know if this is like a spoiler territory or not, so I probably shouldn't raid, because I don't know. Um, and I don't want to like go and raid people who might be in spoiler, spoiler territory, because I don't know Hold who on, my, I'll who go, my I'll, viewers I'll are. I'll go check to see if we're in, I'll go check to see if we're in, we're in spo spoiler territory. Yeah, because I don't know who of my viewers have, have played Persona or want to maybe play Persona and haven't yet. So... I don't know, is this spoiler area? I'm, just, I'm gonna ask, are we in spoiler territory? It's been a while since I've raided Brooke. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna go right next to then. Okay. As much as I would have liked to raid Brooke, but... Oh, okay. I, 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 I think, I think I, we're good, actually. Hmm? Oh. I think well, I just heard the... Uh, I heard the first bit, so I was just like, uh, we might as well go and raid Nixa. Okay. Because he's, he's just doing Harry Potter. I That's easy for me. <laughs> I can just go in and do that. So, later guys. <laughs>